Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games. And, uh, yeah, today we are gonna be starting something new on the channel. We are gonna be playing none other than War on the Sea, which is a naval combat strategy game made by none other than one of the best development companies out there, in my opinion, for naval combat strategy games, Killerfish Games, as you guys can see in the bottom right. Um, they are the creators of not just War on the Sea, they also made Atlantic Fleet, which is available on mobile, iOS, and of course Android, it's all over the place, it's even on PC of course as well. They made also Cold Waters, one of the uh, more release it, uh, re um, recent releases um, for uh, their naval games. Cold Waters is fantastic also, and of course they uh, made Pacific Fleet, which is one of their older titles. Um, and they are currently working on another game. Um, they still update this game, of course, but they're working on another game as well, um, which is kind of like Cold Waters, but they focus more on the um, surface combat. Um, so, yeah, but enough talking about the other games. We're talking about War on the Sea in this one. War on the Sea, if you guys are wondering how to get this game, you have to have a PC um, and you have to have Steam. Um, it is only available, I believe, on Steam for $39.99 USD, plus taxes, of course. And I don't really know how much it is in other countries. If I had to guess, it's around the same price, probably $45 to $50 quid, whatever. <laughs> so with that, all that being said, let's go ahead and just do a custom battle um, because I want to show you guys what this game is about. Um, and the best way to do that, I think, is just to do a short battle and kind of talk about everything that is kind of in this game here. Um, so there's obviously a lot more. I would need to make multiple videos just to cover the amount of stuff you can do in this game. But to summarize it all up, it is a naval combat strategy game. Very realistic. Realism maximum, baby. This, the, the developers for this game care about realism and they try to mix it in with fun too, but man, um, World of Warships Legends, I play that a lot, and this game doesn't even, even come close to that game with realism. The development team are fantastic, and I just, ah, uh, maybe I'm giving them too much praise here, but man, they, they make some pretty, pretty banger, um, banger games, I cannot lie with you guys, but with all that being said, let's go ahead and just make a battle. So I think we're going to set the date to just my birthday, why not, May 27th. And we're going to do 1944. The time will be uh, the same. Weather will be clear. We will put the sea state to zero, so that way we don't have any waves or anything um, screwing us up. Um, just for the, you know, just for the giggles here. Now, of course, there is a campaign in this game. And if I get enough support on this one, if I get enough people saying, hey, we want more, I might even start a full-on series with the campaign. You never know. Um, so, yeah. Now, obviously, there's submarines in this game. There are destroyers, cruisers, light cruisers, battleships, carriers, escort. There's so much stuff in this game. And there's you also have the Australians and you have the Japanese. We're gonna have one of each. We're gonna have a um, we're gonna have an American light cruiser. We're gonna start off with something that's from uh, Legends that a lot of you guys know and love, the Atlanta. We're also gonna have HMAS Perth. And we're gonna have um, I think that's it actually. Let's just do two light cruisers. USS Atlanta and His Majesty's Australian ship. Um, I gotta actually put the Perth. We have the Hobart there. We're gonna do the Perth. Boom. And that's gonna be our small, tiny little duel or a little um, duet of light cruisers there. We're also gonna have some enemies to deal with. We're gonna have two Japanese light cruisers, preferably Agano class. We're gonna have the Agano herself. Whoops, I gotta actually remove that. What am I doing? We gotta make a new fleet. There we go. We're gonna have the Agano herself, and we're gonna have a ship you guys probably know from WoW's, Yahagi. Yagi, whatever you wanna call it. That's gonna be basically parallel to us. Now, as you guys can see here, the heading is zero, which means it's basically heading that way, direct north. And the same thing for my fleet here, they're also heading north. So, we're gonna be sailing par parallel to each other. So this should be pretty fun. We're going to change their side, of course, to red so that we're not on the same team here. And we're going to start this battle. So if you guys have made it this far in, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, without further ado, let's start. So we're going to click tactical view, of course. We're going to select both ships and we are going to give them both. Uh, make sure their sonar and radar are on. Radar is this one, sonar is that one. So that way we can detect torpedoes and, of course, detect ships. 
We are going to increase speed to 34 knots and start this battle. And here we are in War on the Sea in the USS Atlanta. Now our, our radar has picked up two ship contacts, ship bearing 091 and 097. There is the, um, of course, one of the light cruisers, I believe. There we go. So we are going to identify these ships. It's very important to identify the ships because um, if you don't, your fire directors actually will not be as accurate, believe it or not. So if you actually take the time to identify the ships, your fire directors will have an easier time of getting a correct firing solution. So we're going we're gonna to identify both of them as Agano-class light cruisers. And we are going to begin this battle. Now, here is HMAS Perth in her glory. Boom. I'm sure someone in this uh, in the comments will love this one. I know um, there's some Australian people who die, who, who watch my videos, and um, there you guys go. Um, I thought, why not? And of course, we got the Atlanta. Now, Atlanta has already taken some hits. If I click on my damage control parties here and just show you guys, I could I could show you guys the damage. Now we have one of our damage control crews currently repairing the um, this area right here that's affected. Now we are going to alter course. We're going to turn to starboard and maybe go in a little bit more. Now, what we're going to do is send some torpedoes. Atlanta has four of them, and the range on these torpedoes, I actually don't know. I don't know what the range is, but we're going to have a four... We're going to send four torpedoes in a four-degree spread and send them. Same thing for HMS Perth. We're going to put four torpedoes, four-degree spread, send them. There we go. Now, once I send these torpedoes, I would love to turn in because I wouldn't doubt it if the Japanese also sent some torpedoes now look on the horizon they are both already taking on smoke I mean they're burning up a storm let me click B for the binoculars here let's make it a little realistic yeah she's not doing too good it looks like she's got some fire center mass looks like the uh, other Argano has some fires below deck they're not doing too good they are not doing too good um, let me tell you so we are going to put our HUD back on and turn in. I actually don't think that these torpedoes have the range. Unless they do, and I'm not. Maybe I need to turn more? Yeah, I think we do. Let's turn a bit more. We might not be at the proper angle to get these torpedoes off. Um, they should send automatically. Uh, once we have the right bearing here. And there they go. There's one torpedo. Two, torpedo, uh, two torpedoes. Three and four. Turn back in. <laughs> I wonder if the Perth got hers off. I don't think she did. We, I think, needed the same exact thing for the Perth here. I think we need to also turn so that way she can get her torpedoes to bear. So, we're going to turn here, and Perth is sending them. There's one, and there is just one. Oh, no, she already sent them. Boom. All four. Gone. Fantastic. Already. Um, so, we are going to... I think what we're going to do is we are going to push in. Um, we turned away, obviously, to get our torpedoes off, so we are going to turn back in here to help and assist our Atlanta. Now, while we're doing that, we're going to go check on the enemy ships here. Yeah, it looks like uh, the Agano here is turning hard to starboard, and she might have a little bit of a list. Now, this one right here, holy crap, she is battered. Fires all along her deck here, um, and probably below it, if I had to guess, she's probably taking on flooding. She is getting battered up a storm. Holy crap. Whoo, that's, yeah, poor, poor, poor Agano. Let's go back to our Perth here and see how she's doing. And, uh, yeah, she's doing pretty good. Now, obviously, the Perth has six-inch guns. They are 150-millimeter um, British naval rifles. Very good indeed. And, uh, yeah, oh, shit, I got to make sure I don't get hit by my own torpedoes. Yep, I got to make sure we, um, yep, we don't get hit. So we're going to alter course. Oh, yeah, we actually almost got hit. That's pretty... Unless those are ours. I'm confused. Huh. Oh, there's some enemy torpedoes off our um, off our nose here. Bearing 6-0. Oh, we should be fine. Those are those are very far off here. Um, we should be A-OK. -okay. We actually need to be careful. Once again, we gotta... I think we need to slow down. So we can let those torpedoes pass. Because we are going to take them if we're not careful. Um, I have done that before. I have actually taken my own torpedoes before that I've sent, um, so it it can happen, and we have to be very careful <laughs> so that way it doesn't happen, obviously. So uh, yeah, now we're gonna turn a bit more broadside so we can get our guns off and whatnot. 
We're gonna increase speed to 20 knots. It looks like Atlanta has been fully repaired. She still has some fires, but ah, she'll be fine. She'll be just fine. I just wanna make sure my Atlanta doesn't take those torpedoes that were sent by the Perth. That would not be fun. Um, I think what we could do here is just turn a little bit more hard to, hard to starboard or hard to port. Now what I would like to do, I would like my Atlanta to start targeting that Agano. There we go. Now keep in mind, I'm obviously not the best player at this game. I've only been playing this game off and on for about three, four months, but I have a general idea of how to play the game. I know how to do pretty much everything. So I'm not the worst. I know what I'm doing, but um, I'm not exactly the best at executing um, on what I need to do. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm no, I'm by no means a professional at all, um, like I am over at WoWs. So keep that in mind. Now, um, I think our Perth is still just battering that Agano there. She's not doing too good. She's got fires. Basically, 60% of her ship is on fire. She's not having a fun time um, at all. And, uh, yeah, we're doing pretty decent, but our poor Atlanta here is just getting battered. Getting battered, but she's actually doing all right. Um, I think she'll live, thankfully. So I think what we're going to do is we are going to increase speed since we're pretty much out of dodge of those torpedoes to 34 knots. And we are going to put our bows directly towards the enemy and we're going to charge at them. Same thing for our Perth here. We're going to have her go 33 knots and we are going to charge towards the enemy and see what happens. <laughs> so, yeah, if you guys have made it this far into the video, I appreciate you. I really do. Now, what we're going to do, just for shits and giggles, we're going to click F9 to have some time compression to uh, kind of speed things up a little bit uh, for the video purposes, of course. So that way we're not here for 20, 30 minutes. I've had naval battles last for that long, believe it or not. So, pretty crazy sometimes. Like I said, it's a full-on realistic game. It really is. So, yeah, I'd like to get a thumbnail. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to come over to the Atlanta and kind of go like this. Boom, and I'm going to, of course, put that away, and there we go. Screenshot <laughs> for the thumbnail, of course. Yeah, 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 buddy. Alrighty. So it looks like the Agano here that's getting absolutely peppered has popped a smoke screen, but she's basically dead in the water. She is, oh my, yeah. Just look at the amount of damage that poor Agano's taking. Her two front guns are completely, it looks like they're gone. She's not able to traverse them. The only gun that might be active is her rear turret. But even that, I don't even know. This Agano is just getting absolutely peppered. Absolutely peppered. <laughs> Which is good. It's just, that's that's good. So we're going to keep on um, pushing here. We're going to carry on 30 knot speed. And we are going to make sure that our Perth is also doing the same. Just making sure that we are sailing, of course. And of course, as you guys can see there, there's a British flag on there. Pretty nice indeed. Perth, I want you to turn a bit more broadside to get your guns to bear. Same thing for Atlanta. I think we can do that now. We need to get this little um, this little light cruiser off the board right now. <laughs> she needs to die. She needs to die. So we're going to turn hard to starboard here. Now it looks like the Perth sent some more torpedoes. Uh, but I think we'll be fine. So, yeah. Um, it looks like our port side torpedoes, or sorry, our starboard side torpedoes are completely knocked out. Wow. Yep. And down goes the Agano. That little alarm sound you guys just heard, that is an indicator that we just sunk the ship, and indeed we did. And, uh, there she goes. And, uh, yeah, honestly, that's a better thumbnail right there. What do you guys think? I think that's pretty good. Let's do some time compression. So we can get her when she's, like, a little below water. There we go. That's perfect. Yes. All right, turn the camera just like that, and we're going to take a screenshot. So, so there we go. Pretty nice. <laughs> and the only ship left is this Agano, and uh, we are going to absolutely just batter her. I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to go to my ships. I just want to watch, I just want to watch this. Oh, beautiful hits. <laughs> Oof. That Gano, Agano is not having a good time, let me tell you. Holy crap. Yep. Atlanta right there. Perth right there. Yeah, batter this boat. Let's just watch the show. Let's just watch it. I'm just going to put the camera right about here. And you guys can just watch the explosions. There we go. 
Yeah, she is not having fun. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's another explosion I heard. She's got some more fire to center mass. Oh my lord. Oh! <laughs> Her turret got absolutely obliterated there. Agano's smoking up. Keep in mind, there's 15 5-inch guns flying through the air. And, of course, a bunch of 6-inch guns from the Perth. She is not having fun. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Holy crap. Yeah. She won't be long for this world either. If we head back over, yeah, she's a uh, looks like our Agano that we sunk earlier. She's slipping beneath the waves, as you guys can see there. Rest in peace. <laughs> Ooh, alrighty. So we're gonna come back up to the surface. Whoopsies. There we go. Yeah. It's a glorious sight, isn't it? It is a glorious sight. USS Atlanta, HMAS Perth, just, yeah, just doing God's work, I guess. Holy crap. Yeah, Agano is listing pretty heavily to starboard. She's just getting hit after hit after hit on her. Turret's still taking hits. Major, major explosions on her starboard side. Oh, man. Oh, more. <laughs> Poor Agano, guys. Holy shit. Wow. They honestly didn't even have a chance. Didn't even have a chance. Jesus. Wow. Just getting absolutely hammered. I'm gonna do some time compression. Save some time. And you guys can just see there. Look at the amount of hits coming in. Just go to an overview camera. Look at that. Look at all those hits. Yeah. That's pretty significant. <laughs> Uh, if I was to paint this black and white, you guys probably wouldn't even notice that this was a game. <laughs> like, you guys would just think this is a picture off Google. But nope. This is just War on the Sea. And this is just one of the many naval battles that you can have in this game. Like, if you play the campaign, it is just constant naval battles and you're taking islands. And it's just, it's just crazy. It really is. So. And down goes the Agano. Yeah. She's still taking explosions even after she's sinking. She's she's critically turning over. She's probably going to capsize. We'll have to see. But holy crap, just look at that. Yep, she's capsizing. Holy crap. And down goes the other Agano. Very good. Holy crap. Yeah. <laughs> That's it, and we didn't even lose a single ship, ladies and gentlemen. Are the Americans um, and the British just better? I don't know. You guys will have to decide in the comments below because that, ladies and gentlemen, is the end of this video. And, yeah, we managed to take out both of those light cruisers. Very nice. And, like I said, that's just one of many battles that you can have in this game. You can do so much. I could put a bunch of battleships in here versus battleships, subs versus subs, whatever. The possibilities are endless with this game. And I did hope you, uh, I do hope you all did enjoy it. If you guys did, hit that like button. Leave a comment below. Tell me what you guys thought of it. And subscribe to the channel if you have not done so already. And, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that is going to conclude this one. Have a great rest of your week. And, and I will see you on the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy. As always.